LED ZMTA851B. So let, let me go ahead and give you a closer you know view of this just so you can see like first off this main piece here which has the motor in it so this rotates keep in mind it's going to be like this where you attach this bottom piece to the pole so the first thing i'm going to do is snap in these four main pieces here from the top and bottom and you'll notice that there is a front and back so I am going to determine that the thing in where the cord is is in the back so what this means is that this curvature that I have here the the curvature here is going to be the back for me so I am simply gonna snap these in and you'll notice there are two basically two slots here that has the snap in and the snap in is basically you know these here so I am simply going to snap all four of these in, uh, like so. And uh, get, give you a top view of this. And of course this is a little bit harder for me because I am doing it on camera. So I'm actually looking through the camera lens which is a little bit small. So that's the back and keep in mind the cord is the back for me. And I am basically going to do the same for the other four. And you could see here how, how this this thing sort of gets goes together. So so you could see here if it snaps in like this. Uh, so so just make sure that you you also have these things aligned. And what I mean by that is simply you know this you know going going and reinforcing that so so this right here you know slides in after it's been snapped in because these are so flexible you, you could actually just do it afterwards so let me go ahead and snap these in and show you so I've snapped that in I'm gonna snap this end in and you'll notice that right away this thing already comes together like that so so this piece is already reinforced and I'm gonna do the same to this side so once I've connected the four pieces and snapped it in you'll notice I have uh, put screws in on both sides so you'll see on, on the other side on the underside uh, where those connecting pieces are you merely screw it in on both sides so I have a screw there and a screw there of the sort of many screws that it has which is really just a handful so I'm gonna put uh, the initial rod in there now so that's the next step just uh, going through the directions here but that's the next step so let me show you how these U-shaped pieces are actually fitted in. So it is on the inside where, not on the curve, but actually on the inside across here. And you'll notice I have it fit in U-shaped. And I have these this plastic connector which actually goes on the inside. And the reason why it's on the inside is because this is how this these connectors get connected to the antenna. So, so as you can see, I have two screws that connects this to the antenna itself, to the base itself. And I will similarly do the same thing at the top with, with these two strips. And the way you do it is you, you should pre-fit it. So for example, I, I have this U-shaped and I'm just pre-fitting it. And the reason why I'm pre-fitting it is it's actually a little bit tough to get it through these holes when you're trying to push it in and you want to make sure that uh, you, you don't have to use pliers to actually straighten out any of the edges so let me show you why I'm pre-fitting it is because if I pull it apart you'll, you'll see there is a side that's indented in and that's the longer side because the shorter side I actually put this connector in such that I, I could connect the, the foil through um, so I'm pre-fitting it and just making sure the indented side fits this rod uh, because these things are very thin 
and, and they get crinkled pretty easily. So as you can see, I'm, I'm going to twist it and pre-fit it and, and make sure it fits snug before I actually push it through these holes. So, um, you know, let me go ahead now and push it through these holes and uh, I'll show you the end result. So I've pushed the rod through along with the connector and I just wanted to give you a close up here of the adapter. So I have the plastic adapter here and once again this here is the plastic adapter and what I'm going to do is you know screw these connecting pieces basically these uh, aluminum strips with the hole in it that connects the base to the antenna into this hole. So let me just give you an angle view here. So I'm simply going to uh, put two screws in there. And that's really that for this. Um, but, but also I wanted to show you from the side. This is what I've done with, with the inside. You know, it's not on the curved. The curved is just those shorter pieces that go in. Whereas this is actually from, from the inside. And that gives you a pretty decent look. So now it's uh, time for me to connect the other side. So these are the other sides where I, I must have some connectors. So what that's going to be is these medium sized number 7 here in the instruction manual which is the UHF dipole. So there's four of those. And what I'm going to do is take the connectors and connect them like this with, with, with the hole here and simply put them along basically put it along this area here and you could see there's there's the four holes on the inside and connect it with those strips into the holes like I did before so let me go ahead and do that and show you the end result so I got these two pieces into the plastic holes and what I'm going to do is wiggle this in now and uh, the reason why I want to show you this is because it's not all that easy to wiggle in. So I want to show you, you know, just how you have to twist it in. And, you know, put that piece in there. And that's really it. And now what I'm going to do is take these strips, you know, align it to the holes and screw it in with the screws. You know, all the while making sure that this is still even and not misaligned. Uh, but that's really it with this piece. So let me go ahead and do that and show you the end result here. Now this is the end result of uh, me putting the medium sized, uh, what it, I, I think it's called the UHF dipoles on and you'll notice I, I deformed this because I squeezed it a little bit too much don't squeeze it just rotate it and turn it into the holes because if you squeeze it you're, you're gonna damage it like I did which is squeeze the tube uh, because these things are are very uh, flimsy here so if, if you squeeze the tubes you know you're, you're gonna deform it like I did so just just twist it and rotate it until it reaches you know the the middle and it's not going to be perfect. What you want to do is make sure these things are straight. So that's what you want to make sure of. Not necessarily that this thing's going to be in the middle. So, um, and you can see, you know, the, the thing you want to maximize is pushing these things in so that you maximize the contact to these rods, which is what I try to do ev even in the uh, areas where, you know, you're the curvature is there so I'm squeezing those plastic items or, or those plastic strips to maximize the contact onto those rods and actually the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory but I'm gonna go through it anyway um, because they're the, the only thing that's left is the six tubes in the back which is those long tubes and you could see those shorter tubes which, which is more for, for the front here. So, so you could see in the back, there's exactly the six holes 
for the longer tubes and you're just going to push those through uh, but let me go ahead and do that and show you the end result here so what I've got here now is the tubes in the back so, so you can see from the side angle the rounded edge there with, with the sort of semicircle. I, I have the all six tubes, six, three on the top and three on the bottom. And just to give you a look of how it looks here, you, you could see that it is simply just twisting it through, twisting the long tubes through. And once again, keep in mind to rotate it and not to actually push it in. Now the, the next step for me is simply to snap these in. So, so now for this piece, for, for this piece here, there, there's the two rounded edges, well, one for the top, one for the bottom. And once again, just like for the top, I'm going to have to put these two pieces together. And I, I might want a utility knife to just shave off a, a little bit of this if if there's anything blocking if, if there's still some mold that wasn't perfect but what I would do is uh, you know simply you know put this together and you know screw the screw hole over there and then snap the square things in so so there's the square pieces on the edges here where my thumb and my forefinger is here and you know where I have here and just snap it out snap it in the front and you, you could see there, there's the four squares on the inside and then all I have to do is uh, you know put these around the edge so let, let me go ahead and show you that um, you know where where you're just putting a lot of these on the edge so let me go ahead and uh, you know assemble that and show you the end result. So finally, this antenna is done, and I just want to go through, you know, once again, you know, the the pieces that I did. So you might want to put a longer screw here because as I was putting in these final little tiny pieces, um, this wiggled out. So you'll notice I I put a longer screw that actually goes a little bit through, uh, at least for this one, but not for this one. But overall, I. I realized why why this plastic needs to be a little bit flexible because it did take me a little bit of effort to actually push these to, to push this longer piece that this longer piece here with the squares in and snap it in here um, and luckily the plastic was flexible such that I was able to do that um, but overall I, I think this is a you know decent antenna uh, but but it is an antenna that likely is more suitable for very good weather or very suitable for uh, your attic but not necessarily for weather that's very heavy for you know for very heavy winter weather or very heavy uh, bad weather such as um, you know a lot of hurricanes or storms or windy conditions um, but overall um, you know, that's how you assemble it and I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.